inshallah in today's class we are going to discuss few basics and formulas of theory of equations now let me start with an example now see here what suppose we are having an equation 2x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 now see here the highest degree of this equation is x square power 2 and this is x cube power 3 x power 4 the equation starts with the degree highest degree is 2 x square this is called quadratic equation when it starts with power 3 we call this as cubic equation cubic equation and when the power starts with power, uh, degree starts with 4 we'll see it we say this as biquadratic equation. Biquadratic equation. Now x square is the highest degree, degree 2, no? So we are having two values of x. These are called the roots of roots of the equation. So for quadratic equation, we have two roots alpha, beta, we know, denote by alpha, beta. For cube equations, we have three roots denotes by alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma. For biquadratic equation, we have four values of x. That is four roots of x, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, r, its denotions generally. So here you see the first, this is quadratic equation, cube equation, biquadratic equation. Two roots, it have, it have three roots, it have four roots. Now two roots and we are having two formulas. Alpha plus beta is minus b by a, alpha, beta, c by a. We are having three roots and we are having three formulas for this alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha c by a and alpha beta gamma is minus d by a now when we have four roots we are having four formulas alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta plus delta so alpha beta alpha gamma alpha delta beta gamma beta delta plus gamma delta is c by a. now this is for three three products alpha beta gamma plus leave this alpha beta gamma delta b leave this beta gamma delta alpha not leaves the gamma alpha gamma delta alpha beta is minus b by a. and the last one is alpha beta gamma delta so suppose we have we if we have the roots and if we want to have find the equations suppose we are having two roots for example roots are 2 and 3 and we have to find the quadratic equation then we suppose this as alpha this as beta we have to use this formula or we can use this formula x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equals to 0 that is x square minus 2 plus 3 is 5x alpha beta 2 3 is 6 so when we have the roots and we want to find the equations we use like this if we are having two roots this is quadratic equation so we can use x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equals to zero or we can use this formula also x minus alpha into x minus beta equals to zero in the same way if we are having three roots and we want to find the cube equation then we can find like this alpha x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma equals to zero if we multiply these three terms we'll get a cubic equation or we can use this formula for this to use alpha square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta and this is i am writing this as it is x minus gamma equals to zero now for four roots we can find by quadratic equation like this x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma x minus delta or we are using two and two here two here x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta x square minus gamma plus delta into x plus gamma delta equals to z now you see the next concept suppose every every time when we are having the irrational roots and imaginary roots are always occurring conjugate pairs are always occurring conjugate pairs suppose i will explain this one suppose we are having one root as 3 plus root 3 then surely it will have the equation will have one more root that is 3 minus root these two are conjugates a plus root b is conjugate of a minus root in the same way imaginary roots also conjugate suppose we are having suppose one root is 1 minus 3i then the other root will be 1 plus 3i 
these are irrational roots and these are imaginary roots. This always occurs in pair, conjugate pairs. So, suppose one is given, we can take the other. Suppose given as one root is root 2 plus root 3. Then we will take the other root as 2 minus root 3. Suppose one root is given as a minus 1 minus i. Then we can take the other root as 1 plus i. So, irrational roots and imaginary roots are always occurring pair. That is, if one root is a plus root b, then the other root is a minus root b. In the same way, if one root is imaginary a plus iv, then the other root is a minus iv. Now, suppose some function f of x is given. We have to find the equation whose roots are negatives of the roots of f of x equals to 0. Negatives means we have to use f of minus x equals to 0. Negative roots of the given equation means f of minus x equals to 0. Reciprocals means f of 1 by x equals to 0. Reciprocal means f of 1 by x equals to 0. Now, k times of the given roots, then f of x by k equals to 0. 3 times means f of x by 3. 2 times means f of x by 2 equals to 0. And squares of the given squares of the roots of the given equation means f of root x equals to 0. To get the roots whose which are the squares of the roots of f of x equals to 0. Roots means f of root x equals to 0. Squares of the means f of root x. And cube means f of cubic root of x equals to 0. Now the next concept is the question will be like this. Find the equation whose roots are the translates of. Translates of f of x equals to 0. Now translates means, suppose translates by h means we have to find f of x minus h equals to 0. Translates by h means we have to find f of x minus h. We have to change the sign. Translates by minus 3 means f of x plus 3 equals to 0. We have to change the sign. Translates by 2 means f of x minus 2 equals to 0. So this can also be obtained by devising synthetic division of f of x by minus h. To know this complete procedure, you go through the questions, okay? You go through the questions, you will get the complete explanation there, okay? Now, next you see formula to remove or eliminate second highest degree of x. We Just we can use this formula, h equals to minus b by n a. Minus b by n a or, or you write n a n same. So, whatever the value of h we get, we have to divide f of x synthetic division by h. We will get the equation in which second highest degree is eliminated. For example, suppose you see here what will be the value of h? h equals to minus b by n a. What will the value of b? a is 1 here, b is 4, minus 4 by n is the greatest degree, x square, x cube, x power 4. So, the greatest degree is 4, 4 into a is here 1. So, we got this value as minus 1. So, when we divide this with synthetic division by minus 1, we will get an equation in which the second highest degree. This is the first highest degree. So, this will be eliminated if we divide by minus 1 synthetic design. How we have to divide, you see in the problems, okay, in the parts of the already have I have explained in the previous parts. Okay, I will give the link of the questions. You can understand them. So, we have to find the value of h h is minus b by n a, then we have to divide synthetic to get the equation in which second highest degree is eliminated, second highest degree of x. Now see a last concept, reciprocal equations. Suppose if f of x equals to 0, remains same when x is replaced by 1 by x, when x is replaced by 1 by x, then it is called reciprocal equation. Suppose these equations, if we put in place of x 1 by x equals to 0, you will get the same equation. Okay, then these equations are called reciprocal equations. How we can understand this? You see, the coefficient will be same. 1, 1. Sign no problem. 31, 31. 12, 12. If you go from here, like this, you will get the same coefficient. 1, 1. 31, 31. 12, 12. When sign is also same, then we call reciprocal equation of first order, first type. Suppose here 1, 1, 6, 6, whatever the middle, no problem. Here the sign changes. No, this is of the second type. This is of the, of the first mass, first type. This is of the second type. So we have seen few question, few formulas, okay. These reciprocal equations are very important questions. 
you can see the problems uh, inshallah you can understand in detail these problems these problems are very important questions to solve these equations so inshallah we are going to continue the next class